Uh, by the time he arrived at the hospital in his 40s, only a thin layer of actual brain tissue remained. There was no tumor, no bleed, no stroke, and yet he was living, working, raising his kids, and his only complaints? That weak leg. Now the secret, it wasn't the amount of tissue that mattered, but how that tissue was organized and how the brain adapted over time. There was no accident. Pressure in his skull built slowly over years, giving his brain time to adapt and reorganize. Now this phenomenon called neuroplasticity helps the brain reroute functions and strengthen what's left. His brain didn't vanish. It was just severely compressed and reconfigured. Cases like this one force us to rethink what's actually possible. Maybe intelligence and selfhood don't just depend on having a full brain, but on having a network that's flexible and robust. That's the deeper mystery.